Bobby the ape is big and hairy. And with his large muscles, he looks quite scary. But don't be afraid, because Bobby loves flowers. He skips among them for hours and hours. Daffodils, buttercups, he tends them all. From the smallest daisy to flowers quite tall, Bobby likes gardening. He hates playing rough. He grows pink petunias and other such stuff. You can't do this, other apes would cry. It's just not right. And we'll tell you why. It's embarrassing to watch you hop, jump, and skip. For an ape that grows flowers just isn't hip. That's my concern, said young Bobby. I'm just not like you. I have a hobby. I really don't like banging my chest. It's growing flowers that I like best. Growing flowers? The apes all cried. That's not in the good ape guide. You're meant to be tough and noisy like us. And smell a bit funny. So what's to discuss? Bobby just grinned and said, I don't care. I am what I am. That's it. So there. The apes were shocked and finally spoke. Oh, we get it. You're having a joke. Indeed, I'm not, Bobby replied. I'm stating a fact. It can't be denied. If you're not keen, that's not my fault. My gardening joy you cannot halt. The apes were cross and started to fidget. Then they went off to speak to Bridget. Bridget was wise, the queen of the apes. She solved ape problems for bunches of grapes. Bridget just listened. This was no jape. She'd heard about Bobby, the soppy great ape. Then she rose from her throne and pushed through the crowd. Take me to him, she bellowed out loud. Bridget was carried in a big bamboo chair to where Bobby tended the plants in his care. I hear you grow and tend these flowers all day and all night for hours and hours. I do indeed, said Bobby with pride. I'm happy to do it. I've nothing to hide. There you are, the apes did shout. He's just admitted to mucking about. Quiet in the ranks, Bridget cried out. Bobby is different. Of that there's no doubt. For while you're all happy, just being the same, Bobby the ape has a personal aim. He does his own thing. He's bold and he's true. He's at one with himself, unlike all of you. With that, Bridget left. The apes were stunned. Bobby'd been praised, and they'd been shunned. So Bobby still grows and tends to his flowers skipping among them for hours and hours. In time, all the apes stopped having a moan, for the queen had taught them to each their own. So if you like flowers or beat your chest from a tree, be true to yourself, which is how it should be. <laughs>